and not from Magomed Anka Lives because I'm not going to bury the lead. I am absolutely bullish on Magomed Anka Live. I'm super stoked. I mean, obviously, we would have loved to see Jiri versus Glover uh, rematch that insane first fight they had. And you hope that we might be able to still see that fight next year. I mean, we know year is going to be off for like a year and Glover's getting older. Who knows if Poetan jumps up? I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty now, but the UFC, I mean, they know how to design a fight card because in what was originally going to be the co-main event was this contest of Jan Blahovic versus uh, Magomed Ankalaev. And what do they do? They throw it on top. It's now the official 205 belt title fight. And uh, I can't wait to see how Jan looks against Magomed because Mago is a guy who is riding a 10-fight win streak. He only has the one loss to his name and the one loss on his youth, on his M pro MMA record. And that was in the literal last second to Paul Craig in a fight that he was winning 14 minutes and 59 seconds of. It was just the greatest, and I mean the absolute greatest submission and greatest comeback of all time from the Bear Jew. And it was just one second of weakness that Ankalaev has showcased in his professional career. Everything else has been complete domination. I mean, most recently he took out Lionheart Smith. That was easy work, second round finish. And then he had those nice uh, unanimous decision wins over Tiago Santos, No Time Uzdemir, and Nikita Krylov, who was kind of on a low-key tear right now. And maybe it wasn't the most uh, sexy of performances from Uncle Live. I mean, I, I've heard some, uh, some grumblings from some who they don't think that his style is exciting, but uh, I think that's kind of silly. I think that the dude is um, excitement personified, and the technique he has on the feet – Coupled with his obviously dominant Dagestani ground game, I think makes him the most talented guy in this 205 division. And what better guy to test him, test himself up against, right, than the former champ, the Pol our Polish brother, the legendary Polish power from Jan Blachowicz, who you got to give him credit too. After losing his belt to Glover in the second round back in 2021 October, he rebounded well and picked up a nice win over Alexander Rakic. It was uh, a TKO win. There was that knee injury, but you got to give some credit to Jan because he was landing a lot of strikes in that fight. And perhaps he was the one who, uh, I don't know if he directly caused that knee injury, but maybe impacted it for sure. And either way, it's a beautiful rebound KO victory for Jan Blahovic. And you know he's been itching to get his title back. Do you think that Ankalaev is ready to secure this belt, set up a fight against Jiri perhaps, and ready to be the next Dagestani GOAT and hold down this 205 championship for a long time coming? Or is this the fight that Jan needs to get his belt back and reinsert himself as the top dog? Who are you taking? This is such a fun fight, such a beautiful main event. Um, sad to see that, you know, Jiri Glover out, but hey, this is this is pretty good for backup, I would say. And I mean both guys are deserving of this title, you know, fight, so super pumped for both of them. I love both these guys, big fan of both, especially my Polish brother. I mean, if we know anything about him, this dude is an absolute savage. He's built like no other and uh people hit him and they tend to break, as we saw his last fight. Um and you know, obviously that could happen too here. Magomit could hit him and loses. It's a fight once again. But ah, I'd love to pick Jan for this. I just think Magomit is the real deal. Um, yeah, anyone that's saying he's not exciting, you should look in the mirror and you'll you'll see a casual most likely um, in that mirror. But Magomit's probably one of the most entertaining, uh, insane, technical, amazing fighters. And he's 30. Jan's 39. It's just like when you see those types of things and the domination of Magomed and infinite gas cardio, great counter striking, great grappling. I mean, I think Magomed could do exactly what Glover did to Jan if he wanted to, and I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to try to keep him on the feet and just finish him first, second, third round. I don't think it goes five, um, but Jan has that Polish legendary power, so he could clip him. You know, we saw Santos sit Mago meet down, so if, if he catches him like Santos did, I don't know. It, hopefully, you know, the warlock Magomed has, you know, a good chin um, for that kind of power that Jan provides, but I, I still got to go Magomed. I don't think he even gets hit. I think he smokes from beginning to end, and this is me, um, world-class domination show that he is a champ worthy and uh it's gonna be exciting to see jury versus magomed
Yeah, I love how you summarize that, and that would just be just the absolute next contest to make, uh, assuming Jiri can come back and uh, within hopefully the year. I mean, maybe even they sneak in Ankh Alive against someone else uh, before that, but you hope we can see Jiri versus Mago at some point for sure. And you mentioned the Tiago Santos contest, and interesting that that's a common opponent of these guys. Jan, actually, the last time he got finished by Strat,